the nature-nurture effect. What are some of the most disturbing experiments ever done in the history of mankind? Here are Bobby Shafan, David Kelman, and Eddie Galland. If you think you see triple, you are not wrong. Boys are triplets, but not simple triplets. The trio was separated at birth from the Louise Wise Adoption Agency of New York. Each boy went with different parents, but through a series of events, the boys discovered they were part of a psychological study conducted by Dr. Peter Neubauer and his Child Development Center. The boys were born in a quadruple twin birth in 1961 to an unmarried teenage mother. The fourth brother died in childbirth, but the other three were put up for adoption. Under the guidance of a psychiatrist, Dr. Peter Neubauer, the boys were to be placed with separate families. But not just any families. With the help of the Louise Wise Adoption Agency, the researchers carefully selected the families. Each family had different parenting styles and socioeconomic backgrounds. The boys' adoptive parents had adopted other children a few years before adopting the boys so the agency had information on each of them. The parents did not know that the boys were separate triplets, although they found it odd that researchers came to their home every year to measure the development of the children. The agency passed it off as a study measuring the growth of adoptive children. It was just a strange coincidence that caused the boys to meet. Bobby was mistaken for Eddie on their college campus by some friends. Through a few questions, Bobby discovered that Eddie had the same date of birth and was adopted by the Laos Wise Adoption Agency. The boys were amazed that they found each other, but the surprises would not end there. A newspaper did an article on separated twins. A guy named David saw their newspaper article and realized he looked a lot like Bobby and Eddie. David quickly realized that he was their third brother based on the date of birth and the name of the adoption agency. At first the three were inseparable. They went through a honeymoon phase very similar to that of new couples. They even opened a restaurant together. But their differences soon got the better of them. The whole situation became overwhelming. The twins started arguing and not getting along. Each of them also suffered from mental health problems. Unfortunately, Eddie was overwhelmed by him. He committed suicide in 1995. Many question the ethics and motives of Neubauer's study. People question the scientific value of the study, as they never published the data. In fact, there are more than 11,000 pages of data but Neubauer sealed them up until 2065. The exact reason for the study is unknown, but the purpose appears to be to investigate the nature-nurture effect. Neither parent agreed to the study nor were they informed that their family was part of the study. David, Eddie and Bobby weren't the only ones in the studio. Neubauer and the Louise Wise Adoption Agency separated several other twins at birth. Some have been the subject of documentaries and news articles. Many reunited through DNA testing, but it is not known exactly how many twins were in the study. The twin sisters, Michelle Mordkoff and Allison Cantor, who were part of Neubauer's twin studio. Since Neubauer sealed the records, no one knows exactly what information they contain. After a lot of pressure, David and Bobby were able to see the parts on them. But even then, the research was heavily censored to protect the identities of the other participants. We will probably have to wait until 2065 to find out what the logs say. Dr. Peter Neubauer is dead and it seems that no one can open the documents held in Yale University.